Hey guys, welcome to this video on my channel and today I'm going to be showing you what is, in my opinion, the best formation uh, on FIFA 16 at the moment actually. Uh, you don't, I don't see many videos or, or much sort of coverage of this formation. Um, it's the 4-3-3 version 5, or the false 9, also known as. And um, yeah, I thought I'd run you through uh, the team and, and sort of the work rates and instructions uh, that make this team really, really good. Um, so I've played about uh, about seven games in Division 1 now with this team and I've won about six I think and lost one game so far and I think that game might have been because I disconnected but um, yeah so so this is the team I've already done a squad builder on it um, but it's, it's just a standard defense I don't think um, work rates matter too much in defense as long as they as long as they have a fairly high um, defensive work rate as well um, but yeah moving into midfield uh, CDM I prefer to have a midfielder with sort of a high defensive work rate. Um, doesn't really matter if they have a high one because they'll always seem to come back as well. Um, but I have Pereira here, he's got a high high work rate. He just sort of works his way up and down the pitch just like these other two midfielders in front of him, Marquisio and Nine Golan. Um, two great players as well. Um, they just sort of control those three just sort of control the the midfield, um, work their way up and down the pitch, chip in with goals, you know, make make and make important tackles, um, all all that good stuff in midfield. Um, centre forward, I have Higuain. Obviously, it's preferable to have a high attacking work rate for your striker or centre forward in this case, um, so that they're sort of they're sort of making runs at the top end of the pitch and working hard to win the ball back. But the main reason I like this formation, guys, is because of the centre forward rather than a striker. Um, it just seems as if the centre forward um, in this formation just sort of drops off from the other team's defence a little bit so that they can pick the ball up and have a bit of time on the ball and then look for these right wingers and left wingers um, to sort of put through balls to which obviously you'd like to have uh, pretty quick right wingers and left wingers so that they can run onto these balls which is why I have Perez here uh, he's got 93 pace and Gomez who has 90 pace on the left here so yeah really quick wingers and um, preferably a centre forward with good passing as well as good shooting so just so that they can pick the ball up sort of around the edge of the box and um, and get a good shot away like Higuain would here and also have good passing like Higuain has 75 passing just so that you can sort of supply the wingers um, pretty well anyway moving on to player instructions guys um, in my opinion I know a lot of people would disagree but after the recent patches and stuff I prefer to have my right backs and left backs just on balanced attack so that they can they can work their way up and down the pitch and support the wingers um, they still, they still seem to keep the defence pretty solid. Um, so yeah, that's just my opinion. Though some people prefer to have them in a stay back while attacking, but I just like them to sort of support the wingers, in my opinion. Uh, the whole midfield I have on balance, just so that they can sort of all work their way up and down the pitch as a unit, um, just sort of supply the strikers when going forward, and then also covering the defence when when tracking back. Uh, striker or centre forward Higuain. I also have on balanced just so that he doesn't sort of make make get in behind all the time or come short all the time just so that you can sort of influence your your sort of style of play on on the um on the attacking players rather than being forced to sort of get in behind every time um also left wingers yeah I both have on balanced as well just you know for the same reasons just so that they're not always making runs or trying to get in behind so that I can sort of come short as well sometimes um, and just yeah, so so I so I can change the style of play um, to sort of suit the opponent which I'm playing, which I find works really well. Anyway, this is the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to uh, leave a like and subscribe for more FIFA content, and also leave a comment for any uh, videos you want to see in the future. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.